Welcome to the College of Southern Maryland's winter commencement. Students gathered at graduation today navigated a global pandemic along with the rest of the world that continues to turn our lives upside down. Many of us felt the impact of the pandemic on our mental health, on our finances, and members of our community experienced food and housing insecurity, perhaps for the first time. Students, Amid all this, you dealt with an emotionally charged environment around you regarding race relations and politics. But you decided what success would look like for you, and you chose the College of Southern Maryland. For that, I thank you. You worked hard, and you have earned the right to feel pride in your success. You embraced new realities and persevered. The skills you've developed will carry you through your life, and I'm enormously proud of each and every one of you. You've demonstrated compassion at an unprecedented level. While you certainly felt the loss of the campus experience, of seeing friends and professors, of participating in campus life and gathering with other students, you connected with each other and cared for each other. You created virtual connections, study groups, activities, you found ways to support each other and built friendships that will carry you through your lifetime. And you helped your community. Throughout this pandemic, CSM has distributed thousands of pounds of food to students and their families, as well as to members of our larger community. We call this day commencement because it's a new beginning. Our graduation ceremony is a transition and an honor to those who will turn their tassel today. We've entered a new world, and I find hope in you, in all of you. You have proven that you know how to overcome adversity. You are the role models for those who come after you. You've rewritten the story of success, and as the world begins to emerge from this global pandemic, you are now uniquely prepared to become the pioneers of our new post-COVID world. I know you are ready. And it's with great excitement that I will watch where you will lead us. Godspeed. Hello, fellow graduates. My name is Anaya Gabriel, and I am a nursing major and soon to be College of Southern Maryland graduate. I am thrilled to stand before you today as one of your student commencement speakers at our class commencement ceremony. Let me first start by thanking my family, my friends, my boyfriend, and my Impact One Church family. I am standing here today because you strengthened me, you loved on me, and you believed in me. Thank you. 
Well, congratulations to each of you on becoming a member of CSM's fall 2021 graduating class and the winter 2022 commencement ceremony. I don't know about you, but I'm very proud of myself and all of us. Though each of us had our own individual struggles these past semesters during a global pandemic, I bet that many of our stories are very similar. Going to college during a pandemic to gain credentials to navigate a world during the COVID virus is very daunting. But we didn't give up. We got up every day, we studied, and we worked hard to enjoy this very moment that we feel today. Because we didn't give up, that's gonna be my theme for my few minutes that I have with you today. You see, when I first started at CSM, it was with the full daily emotional and financial support from my mother. As her only child, we too were as thick as thieves, as close as a mom and daughter could be. My mom's advice to me would be to never, ever give up. Then the pandemic happened, and my mom passed away in May of 2020. There were minimal family members and no life insurance to help me out. I knew last year that I would have to dig into my savings in order to give her the homegoing service she deserved and that my education would most likely have to wait because I had zero idea how I would finance my last two semesters. But the day after she died, as if she was repeating herself, making sure that I would listen to her words even after she was gone, I got a phone call from Ms. Vic Samuels at the Educational Systems Federal Credit Union, and she told me that I had been awarded the 2020 Community College Scholarship. I don't think I ever cried as hard as I did that day on the phone, and Ms. Vic cried with me. If you're out there listening today, Ms. Vic, thank you, and thank you to the Educational Systems Federal Credit Union. You're the reason that I'm standing here today. I also want to thank several members of the College of Southern Maryland nursing faculty, Linda Goodman, Amber Hutchins, Sarah Kano, Jeannie Hill, and Turner Coggins. All of you and your colleagues taught me so much more than just the science of nursing. You grew me as a person, you grew me as a care and patient advocate. You supported me, you pushed me, and you motivated me. And for that, I will always, always be grateful. I would also like to share that this past Thanksgiving, friends and family were asking me about this very ceremony. They wanted to know dates and times and how they'll be able to celebrate my accomplishments with me. Holidays are hard without my mom, and I'd admit, I was feeling a little down and contemplating not participating in any of this because my mom wouldn't be here to see me. So another fun fact, be careful what you say because your words are very powerful. That very next day, I received a phone call from Ms. Angela Smalls with the College of Southern Maryland asking me if I would consider being your student speaker today. And then I had another good cry. There's no doubt in my mind that this invitation to address you all was my mother telling me that she will be watching me, all of us, accomplish our dreams, and so will everyone else on Facebook. This is God's grace serving me once again, and yet another reminder not to quit. Today, as we turn our tassels and embark on the next steps on our journey, we are all going to have those days when we wonder how we're going to make it through our struggles. I know now that my mom will always be there for me showing me the way and leaving reminders for me to never, ever give up. And I'm gonna pay my mother's hope, love, and knowledge forward to you. When you are struggling, I hope you hear my voice reminding you of this moment and telling you to never, ever give up. We just graduated from the College of Southern Maryland and you know now that you can do anything you put your mind to. Congratulations, graduates. Let's go change the world. And now I'd like to introduce you to another student speaker today, Verkia Smith. Thank you, Anaya. Hello, graduates, staff, faculty, friends, and family. I am beyond honored and excited to be speaking in front of you today. My name is Kia Smith, and I am proud to join this graduating class and to represent you as the president of the Student Government Association. I won't take a minute. I just want to tell you a quick story of a girl who began her college career at the age of 15 by testing into the Talented and Gifted program. That young woman eventually to decide to pursue a nursing degree at her local community college. She was scared, but she kept going. 
Wanting to be involved at her institution, she became an assistant cross-country coach while completing her studies. She was nervous, but she kept going. She then became the vice president of her campus's student association, and because of this decision, she landed an awesome internship opportunity to work as deputy chief of staff for a great Maryland state delegate. In that position, she spoke with constituents, set in on policy meetings, and even presented a bill to the Black Caucus of Maryland that was passed and now a law. Through all of it, she was anxious, but she kept going. During her last year of studies, the young woman was voted as president of her campus's student government association, and she decided to undergo a complete major change. And guess what she did? Yep, she kept going. Yep, that young woman was me. I've learned that no one path is a straight shot to the finish line, and that no matter how many mistakes, hiccups, or bumps you've endured, you, we, me, we must all keep going. Today's commencement cut ceremony has been a long time coming, and today we can finally say we've made it. Through trials and tribulations, highs and lows, those butterflies in our stomach we just can't seem to shake, the scared, nervous, and anxious feelings, or whatever else may come your way, even if you have to do a complete course change like I did, we have many successes that await us. You will make a positive impact on the world. You have a purpose in this life, and that purpose is part of the reason why we're all here today. I am grateful to CSM and to you, my fellow class members, for opening up so many doors and opportunities for me to pursue what really makes me happy. As we sit on the edge of our seats, anticipating our names being called and turning our tassels, ready to take on a new journey filled with a plethora of emotions, always remember to keep going. After all, how can we say the sky's the limit when there's footprints on the moon? Congratulations, class. Hello, I am Dr. Rodney Redmond, Provost and Vice President of Learning at the College of Southern Maryland. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our winter commencement. I'm so very happy to be able to recognize your accomplishments on today. You faced many challenges along the way, but you endured to complete your certificate, letter of recognition, or degree. This credential will allow you to continue your thrust forward and upward. Many of you started your careers with us in full-on face-to-face mode and experienced a sudden shift to remote learning when the pandemic invaded our lives. Yet, you persevered. Your tenacity, resilience, and perseverance reminds me of the proverb that says, someone said that it couldn't be done, but he with a chuckle replied, maybe it couldn't, but he wouldn't be one who would say so until at least he tried. Now the lesson or the takeaway from this proverb is that life presents us with challenges that may seem insurmountable, but we have first to try. You see, when you try something, even if it's something new and something that seems insurmountable, you will discover that the very thing which seemed impossible can indeed be done. It can be overcome, it can be accomplished, just as you've accomplished your credential that you are receiving today. You are now at the edge of a new life career, a new life adventure. You are a college graduate, but not just a college graduate, you are a College of Southern Maryland graduate, and we are so very proud of you and your accomplishment. But there's more to this proverb than just the trying. Another lesson taught here is that of resilience and fortitude. You stuck with your studies even when they became challenging. You found new, creative, and innovative ways to study and learn your course content. Even though you didn't start out as a remote learner, you found ways to engage with your professors and with your peers to become more successful remote learners. You adjusted and adapted your learning style to what you needed to succeed. When the times got hard because you had to manage staying safe in this global pandemic along with work, family, and school, you found the strength to keep going. Sometimes you may have had to take a break, but a break didn't get to count you out. You found the stamina to keep going. You did not let the pandemic determine your destiny. You are in control, proving that you are indeed the captain of your ship, the master of your destiny, and the determiner of your fate. 
Now as you receive your certificate, degree, or letter of recognition, you will begin a new journey. You will show your family and friends and your community that someone who said it couldn't be done, you not only tried, you did it. You are moving forward with a new hope and with a new resilience that whatever comes your way, you can accomplish it. Your steady movement forward will continue to teach us how to coexist in a world that has many positive aspects. Your movement forward required us to learn new ways of teaching, new ways of studying, new ways of work and engagement. Your desire to learn made us better teachers, made us better counselors, made us better advisors, and better supporters of you, our learners, at the College of Southern Maryland. It is your steadfastness that I see when I gaze into the future of the College of Southern Maryland and the Southern Maryland region. It is your success that is helping to lead the way into a more inclusive and global society. I salute you for teaching us that. I salute you for your willingness to persevere. I honor your resilience and your fortitude, and I say congratulations on your accomplishments. You've earned it, you deserve it. Let's celebrate. In the late 1800s, a brilliant chemist named Alfred Nobel combined a new substance called nitroglycerin with a paste. He finished it off with a blasting cap and a fuse, and he called it dynamite. His invention revolutionized the way railroad companies would blast tunnels. However, it also revolutionized the role of explosives in taking human lives in wars. While Alfred made millions off of this invention, many people would lose their lives as well. In 1888, his brother Ludwig died in France. Assuming the dead Nobel was his brother Alfred, the newspaper wrote an obituary stating, the merchant of death is dead. It stated that he was a man who made his money off of inventions that would go on to kill more people faster than ever before. He read every word of that obituary, and he could not stop thinking about it. He had no wife, no kids. His work was his life, and it was to be his legacy. Is this how the world would remember him as the merchant of death? Eight years later, the merchant of death did die. However, he ensured that he would be known for something other than the inventor of dynamite. Instead, he left the bulk of his estate to establish a trust that would be given, that would give awards that we called the Nobel Prizes. Alfred Nobel did not want his name to be most commonly associated with the invention that brought great pain so he created an award used to honor men and women from around the world in outstanding achievements in physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and the work in peace, thereby changing the way that we use his name to this day. On January 9, 1961, weeks before being inaugurated, the 35th President of the United States of America, John F. Kennedy, said in a speech, for those to whom much is given, much is required. When John F. Kennedy spoke these words, he was referencing the chapter of Luke from the Bible. The idea to whom much is given and required is that we are all held responsible for what we have. However, much of that may be not much. Many of us, of course, consider that we do not have much especially when we think about wealth. But the much in the quotation can also mean a quality education. This is not accessible to all individuals in the United States or around the world. While you may not have always felt that it was a great privilege to spend evenings studying, writing papers, working on projects, coming to class, or balancing your life as a student with working full-time within or outside of the home, 
We know that the opportunity to receive a quality college education changes lives. Not only does it have the ability to impact how much money you will make in a stable career, it also impacts future generations. Individuals who attend college are far more likely than their counterparts to have children who attend college and pass it down through future generations. So I ask you today to reflect on the statement that is recited at every college graduation at CSM by the president of the college. By virtue of the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the award for which you have been recommended, admitting to you all the rights and privileges which throughout the land pertain to those with certificates and degrees. Remember that what is passed down from generation to generation is far more valuable than what is written on a piece of paper that we call a diploma. It is the opportunity to take what you have learned here and create your own legacy. I am Jay Webster and I am the CSM Board of Trustees Chair. On behalf of the entire board, we welcome you to the 23rd Winter Commencement at the College of Southern Maryland. It is a thrill to stand before you today to congratulate and celebrate you graduates. All of us at CSM are so proud of you for accomplishments and the hard work it took for you to get here. You have grown in your career and in your professional goals, and more importantly, you've grown personally in ways none of us could have predicted. For many of you, your academic journey at CSM started and is now ending during a global pandemic. When you stop to think about how astonishing that is, you then realize how much more amazing your accomplishments are today. In my role as Board of Trustee Chair, I have the honor of seeing CSM from many different perspectives. By far the best view is watching our students work extraordinarily hard and succeed. But I also get to see many people behind the scenes, on the sidelines and in our cheering sections who work hard for our students in our institution to help ensure our high level of excellence. I am here today to talk about one of them and recognize him for his ongoing commitment to CSM. And that person is former Charles County Commissioner and Maryland State Senator James C. Jim Simpson. Jim has been a friend of the College of Southern Maryland for many years. He and his late wife, Barbara, moved to Charles County in 1958 with their three children, James III, Gary, and Carol. Both Gary and Carol attended CSM when it was called Charles County Community College. Together, Jim and Barbara ran Simpson Distributing Company until they sold the business in 1986. In 1970, Jim was elected as county commissioner in Charles County, and then in 1974 to the Maryland State Senate, where he represented Charles County in Southern Maryland until 1994. CSM is grateful for the Simpson family's ongoing philanthropy in Charles County and at our college. The first gift to our college was in 1996 in support of the Center for Business and Industry Building. And the family has never waned in their support over the years. I learned the art of giving from my father, Simpson once told us. So big is his support for CSM that he introduces our mission and touts our success to his friends. In fact, in 2018, he introduced the college to his good friend, Earl Griffin, who in turn gave a planned gift of $500,000 to 
to help CSM students succeed. So Jim, I know you're watching and I can't wait until the time comes that we can do this in person. But for now, know that it's my absolute honor to represent the Board of Trustees and the entire CSM community in virtually awarding you the CSM's 2021 Trustees Distinguished Service Award. You and your entire family's ongoing generosity and investment in CSM impacts many lives, many families, and the prosperity of our region. We are grateful. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the award for which you have been recommended, admitting you to all the rights and privileges which throughout the land pertain to that certificate or degree. In testimony whereof you have received this award of the college, officially signed and sealed. And now, graduates, it's the time you've been waiting for. You can officially move your tassel to the left side. Congratulations. <laughs>